Back in 2013, Southeast Kentucky Supernatural Research attempted to make contact with a presence that had made itself known to us. This took place in an apartment where I'd once lived. We used all the equipment that we had at our disposal. Eventually, we started a Ouija board session, and we still did not make contact with the presence. However, we did speak with a spirit named Pearl. Southeast Kentucky Supernatural Research disbanded shortly after this. Since starting over, I've had this experience on my mind a lot. Every cemetery that we have visited, I have noted gravestones containing the name Pearl. I've tried to make contact with everyone that we came across, but I'd had no luck. I received some correspondence from an old friend who had found out that I started investigating again. I was told about a small cemetery they had found on findagrave.com that was supposedly haunted. Orbs of light have been reported, and there's a rumor of a possible axe murderer haunting. As if that didn't sound exciting enough, there was a grave there with the name Pearl inscribed on the headstone. It is located approximately two miles from where the Ouija board session had taken place in a section of Hazard called Wabaco. It is called Baker Cemetery, and it lies directly behind the old Davidson building on a small and quiet street. With the right tools, however, this cemetery is certainly not quiet. All right, here we are at uh, Baker Cemetery in Wabaco Hazard. According to findagrave.com, this place is supposedly haunted. I'm going to find out. All right, so we got some new equipment we're excited to use. A new EMF meter. This is the meter K. Um, I'll talk more about this on a video later. But um, it records temperature and um, electromagnetic fields. It's, like, it's basically a mail meter uh, with a backlight, just like a mail meter has. We just walked around. We got no EMF fluctuations, which doesn't mean that we might not. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna probably set this down. I'm going to keep an eye on it, see what happens. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to try and capture some EVPs. So, is there anybody here with us right now who would like to speak? There are reports of orbs of light above the headstones and this strange activity. Can you show yourself to us in the form of an orb of light or an orb in general? Temperature drop on the back 73, 72, plus well, 74 for a while. It's going down in the group, two, three, two, three. Wow, we're getting some strange temperature fluctuations. If there's somebody here with us right now, is it you that's making the temperature change on our device on the ground? It's dropping to 1.9. It's, it's dropped two degrees. Oh God, yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. And it keeps hovering back and forth between 1.9 and uh, 2.5. 71.9, uh, 72.5. When I first started looking at it, it was 73. Yeah. It said it already went down. So we're going to try a new device. Uh, it's not new by any means, but it's actually not even new to. Southeastern Kentucky Supernatural Research, but it is a newer one. This is a fourth revision PSD7. We once upon a time had an original release, but it stopped working. So, 
If there's anybody here with us right now, you could speak through this device. You can make a medium for you to be able to uh, communicate with us. Can now. Is there anybody here with us right now who would like to communicate? I didn't realize that a spirit had told me that Pearl wanted to communicate, but she soon made herself known. Is there somebody here who is continually making the temperature drop on our meter K? It is down to 70.7. .7. Could you drop it down to 69 if possible? According to findagrave.com, there used to be a barn or a garage here in this location. It was supposedly haunted by an axe murderer. Now, I've never heard of an axe murderer in Hazard, but could you validate if that was true or not for us? I feel like I heard a woman say no. After review, obviously, the footage and see. But. Okay, I see the temperature's dropping. Is that you? Seventy point three, and I've seen it dip down to one. If you can get that down to sixty nine for us, that would be incredible. It did it. It did it. Yeah, it just it just dipped down to seven sixty nine. Is that you? Is that are you trying to tell us something? So we're getting a four degree temperature drop from what we started. 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 Thank you for thank you for doing that. That was incredible. Thank you so much. After this, Ryan asked the spirit to drop the temperature even more. I have to note that the ambient temperature around us did not change. The temperature drop was only occurring around the EMF meter. And if you're still here, could you possibly drop that to 66? Wow, that's kind of amazing actually. <laughs> 67.1. Even that's amazing thing. There it went. It dropped to 66 for a second. It, jumped, it jumped back up, but it did it for a second. It does not feel like it's jumped down six degrees outside, or seven, or whatever that would be. Eight, maybe actually. Wow, that's that's amazing. I would like to thank whoever did that. It's on 69 or 66. Thank you so much, actually. That's uh, that's genuinely amazing to me. Um, hmm. Wow. Uh, can you tell us your name?
of something. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this over to the AM band. Um, you may be able to speak easier through it. Okay, let's try to communicate now. So I see we're at 69.4. That's amazing. That's incredible. Can you tell us your name? I mean, I hear, it sounds like somebody's talking. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, look. It's, it's constantly searching through the, the channels, and it sounds like one person is talking over it. No, something. Can you tell us your name clearly? As clear as possible. There's too much going on there. I'm going to switch back to that then. Alright. How many, how many people are here with us right now? Sound like I said eight to me. Did you hear that? It's hard to tell, but I can hear so It's well. hard to tell. I'm closer to it, so. Yeah. So there's eight people here. All right, so we're still here at the Baker Cemetery. We um, we got some pretty good activity over there with temperature changes. Um, I feel like we got some spirit box um, interaction. Uh, we moved locations down a little bit. It's a very small cemetery. Uh, we're not very far away from where we were. Uh, we're going to try one more time to capture somebody speaking with us. So, with that being said, is there anybody here right now that we didn't previously speak to? The person we spoke to earlier said there was eight people here with us. It don't have to be anybody different either, actually. It could be the same person we talked to over there, if you feel like you have more you want to say. Alright, I'm going to do another spirit box session. Now you can speak through this device in my hand here. You can use it to communicate with us. Hello? 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 <laughs> Who am I speaking with right now? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Is somebody here with us right now named Pearl? Yeah? Did you hear that? Yeah? Am I talking to Pearl? Is this the same pearl I talked to on a Ouija board years ago? Not very far from here.
Is there anything in particular you would like to tell me, Pearl? She, she literally said no. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to tell um, the former investigator who was with me uh, last time we spoke? Can you tell me your last name, Pearl? I heard something. Can you repeat that? Can you tell me where you lived at? When we spoke with the Ouija board, I lived on Perry Avenue. Do you have any connections with Perry Avenue? Oakhurst is a street that is connected to Perry Avenue, where the Ouija board session had taken place. Could Oakhurst be what this spirit was trying to tell me? Okay, I feel like it's getting a little bit late, and we should probably wrap things up, but before I leave, is there anything at all you'd like to say? I'll come back and speak to you again uh, at another date, but for now, we'll leave it at this, so feel free to say, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Okay, let's, um... I want to say our goodbyes. Uh, thank you for talking with us, everybody here. Um, spending time with us. Thank you for changing the temperature. That was incredible. Thank you for um, talking to me. Thank you for talking with Ryan. Um, talking through our little boxes in our hands. Possibly even into our camera. Um, yeah, we, we're just very thrilled for everything that uh, happened here tonight. And with that... We have a loose end from Southeast Kentucky Supernatural Research's past tied up. There is still a ton of work to be done, but this is a good start.